What up? Hey, Tyler here. First off, I want to thank learningbird.com for sponsoring these videos. Let's jump right in. We want to learn how to create a document in Google Drive, okay? First off, what is a Google Doc? People always talk, I'm going to put it in your Google Doc, bro. I want to get in my Google Doc. I'll share a Google Doc with you, man. I'm gonna, I don't know why they're talking like that. I don't, I don't know what they're trying to pretend to be. Maybe they're a reality show. Okay, so we want to learn about Google Docs. A Google Doc is essentially Google's version of a Microsoft Word document. A lot of schools are moving to Google Docs because they're free and they have great sharing and collaborative abilities, which is really important for schools. Microsoft Word costs money. They're trying to make it to where they can uh, make it shareable, but it still costs money. So, Google Drive, Google Docs, Drive is the whole thing where you store everything. Google Docs is actually just the Microsoft Word portion of it, the, the actual typing and making a document portion of it. Docs stands for documents, okay? So, let's look in. I'm gonna show you how to create a document. Y'all ready? Join me, here we go. Okay, so we are in here. You're in your Google Drive, okay? You've clicked on the little nine things from your email. You signed in your email, you click that, you went to the little thing that is a recycling bin. Now we are in Google Drive. These are all my files. I've got to set up in folders. If I scroll down, it's got documents, videos, pictures, etc. So I can store whatever I want in here. But what we're talking about is creating a document. So let's look over here. We want to go up here to the upper left where it says new. All right. Now, before you go ahead and create that document, you want to be in the folder that you want that document to go into, okay? Because whenever you create a new document or a folder or whatever you create, whatever folder you're already in, that's where that is going to be created and go to. You can always drag and drop it somewhere else, but I don't want you to put something where you not remember where it goes, okay? It's like placing your keys on the couch when you're not thinking, and then you're like, where are my keys? I can't find them. They're on the couch, bro. Come on. Okay. So, let's say I want to do this in... Um, this folder right here that says coffee shop. I would go ahead and click on that folder. Now, I'm in this folder called coffee shop. Okay, it just has one image in it. All right, now, you wanna go up here to the upper left where it says new. That's where you create things in Google Drive. Hit it. Now, we don't wanna create a folder right now. We wanna, don't wanna upload anything. We wanna actually create a Google Docs. So you're gonna click on Google Docs. It's gonna create a new tab, old tab, new tab, and it's gonna give me this, okay? First thing you should do, this is very important because when you wanna find your file later, this makes it a lot easier to, um, to find it. So, first thing, first step when you get into your Google Doc. You ready, you ready? What's the first step you have when you have a kid? When you have the kid, so you've had the kid, what's the next thing a doctor's like? Yo, what you wanna name this? What are Google Docs? You put in your Google Doc. I don't know why the same guy talking about Google Docs is your doctor. Google Docs, Google Doctor, that makes sense. Okay, so we wanna name our document. How do we do that, Tyler? Okay, in the upper left-hand corner, right here, see where it says Untitled Document. You want to click on that. As soon as you click on it, you're just one click. And then you would go in and rename the document. I wanna label it Docs by Doctors. Don't know why I did that, but I did. Hit OK, boom. That's my new title. That's what it's gonna be titled in my folder. So I go to my other tab, boom, Docs by Doctors. My document is already created. I can now access that document on anything that's connected to the internet that I'm signed into that has my Google Drive so that I can be on my phone. It's immediately gonna create itself, okay? So it syncs across everywhere that has the internet. That's pretty cool. So you go in, you can start writing and making a document. And you can say, hello, my name is Tyler. Wow, it's pretty good, pretty good. There's one hand I was typing with. Okay, so, my name is Tyler. You've created a doc, you've started typing, you have tons of features and add-ons and options. Um, once you get comfortable actually creating a doc, you can go in and hit add-ons, you can add tons of stuff in there. Um, things that automatically grade stuff for you, that edit, that correct, anything you want. Very cool stuff, okay? It's got a formatting bar up here. Um, in Microsoft Word, you know, they've got different tabs, like, and then you have to like, okay, I want to change the font. Well, which one of these tabs is under? Click, click, okay, where is it? You got to find it. Google keeps it as simple as possible. So what they did was, with their bar up here, they have made all the most common things. Some of the key ones that I like are the highlighting. Click that, you can put any type of highlighting stuff, etc. You can highlight your text, you can highlight your entire thing. So if I wanted to highlight this, is very important to me. 
I want to highlight it. Boom. Oh, actually turn that so Command Z is undo. And now I'm going to highlight it again. I'm going to click here, highlight. Now it's going to highlight the whole thing for me. So it's a really cool way. You can say very organized, color coded, makes it very organized and lovely to the eyes. So that's a real quick introduction to Google Docs. Hope it helped. Make sure you check out learningbird.com. Great website for educators and for students. So check it out. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.